Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dylan Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about Steam and what do you actually need to get into the Steam platform. And if you guys remember, to get into Steam you used to have to get greenlit by the community. And basically what it meant is that you had to get a lot of votes and basically approve by the community before you could get into the Steam platform, which meant that you could actually release your game at a certain day and then get released to the whole community, the whole marketplace. So nowadays Steam changed and a lot of people got pissed off and a lot of people got mad and because anybody can actually get into Steam nowadays. I can tell you what I did to get into Steam and it was as simple as basically providing them with my company ID and basically filling out a form and letting them know what I actually do as a game developer, what games I work on in the past, and basically as simple as giving them your credit card, which in US dollars was, I believe is like $99.99 or just $100 even. And that's basically to cover the cost of your first game release. Then if you wanna add another game later on or you're gonna be shipping multiple games, you basically have to pay that fee per game and if I remember correctly, you will get reimbursed as soon as you get to a certain amount. When you get to a certain amount of sales, they'll basically give you that money back. So getting into Steam is pretty, pretty easy nowadays. Anybody can get into Steam. The, I think there's huge opportunities to, to do really well in Steam. I was able to sell more copies in Steam than I was able to sell as a mobile game developer. And the reason for that is because there's not that many games in comparison to markets like iOS or markets like Android. So there's huge opportunities for small developers and small indie studios that want to do really well in Steam. And the other thing that I really wanted to talk about is, you know, a lot of people ask me, so how do you promote your games in Steam? And I sign a contract, meaning that I really cannot disclose a lot of information, but I can tell you that to get promoted into Steam, there is a section where you can really get in, co in contact with some of the creators, the content creators, and within Steam, you can actually contact them and send them product keys, and you're basically sending them kind of like a press kit within Steam, and if they like what they see, you they can basically be picked by them, and which means that you're gonna get more exposure, you're gonna be getting into certain sections of Steam that are curated by these people. And so that's a way to basically go get more exposure within Steam. I also use other, other platforms out there that promote uh, some of the Steam games and they request that you send them keys. If I remember correctly, there was one called Key Mailer and that platform worked really well. You basically log in, you create an account, and you add your games, and they'll require that you put a certain amount of keys. And then the way that it happens, the way that happens, there's a free version, there's also a professional version. When I released my game, I used the free version, and that was very limited, but I was able to get a lot of downloads from, from people that were in that platform. And there's also other ways you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of people to you know are gonna be asking for for keys. You gotta be also very careful because a lot of people are scammers and they what they do is they'll get a license from you and they'll try to sell that license out. So anytime you're getting an email from somebody requesting a key, just make sure that you're doing some research to find out who they are. I did get some good opportunities from really good companies that basically what you do is you, they'll, you'll download a list of keys from, from Steam and then you provide those keys to them and they'll do like a bundle with other Steam games where you can get bundled with and they'll basically give you a payout after a certain amount of time. So there's a lot of opportunities if you're an indie game developer, if you have a game in, you know, for iOS and Android and you're thinking about going into Steam, make sure that you're, you're you're providing also a native, you know, a native experience with Steam. You don't just do a, 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 you know, a mobile port in a Steam that works in a PC on a Mac. Make sure that you're trying, you're doing your best to do a really, really nice migration and conversion into more of a desktop-like 
game because Steam likes that and, and also you know if you're going into Steam make sure that you're using some of their private SDK components you know saving into the cloud using some of the gamepad controllers and integrate that into your games as well because that's going to really get get your game up there and they might be they might pick your game just because you're using some of the features that Steam provides and you know I also had a really good experience with Steam they had a lot of features in their platform I mean Steam is a platform that allows allows AAA games to be you know to be shipping that platform so if you're an indie game developer and you're going through their platform it might be overwhelming at first but you know after you go through that process a couple of times and you do a bill you export it and then you submit it to them it, it gets really really easy and if you have you know if you have any questions about that process um, I'm willing to let you know about it I have also a few scripts that I use to upload my bills through Steam and if you you know if I get enough people to to you know request it I wouldn't mind open sourcing it in GitHub if anybody needs it. So that's basically what I wanted to cover, guys. If you have any questions about what I just talked about and, or suggestions about any other topics around Steam, let me know through the comments. And also don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe this video. Thank you again, guys.